All right, great stuff. Thank you very much, David. So in this demo, we'll be talking about our Microsoft Teams message extension, uh, which will help us provide the current uh, stock price. Uh, and uh, we do that using OpenAI function calling and an API called as uh, FinHub, which we'll be looking at in a minute. Right. So my name is Anoop. I'm an MVP in the Microsoft 365 development category. I work at a company called Content and Cloud based in the UK. There are links to my profile, blog, Twitter, and GitHub. You can follow me on those platforms if needed. Right, so the agenda for today is we'll start with the demo first, um, and then we'll take a look at the OpenAI function calling feature. Uh, then we'll have a look at the code, and we'll conclude. So before starting the demo, I would like to thank Lee Ford and Kunj uh, for their samples uh, on uh, Microsoft Teams using OpenAI and uh, an adaptive card extension which uses FinHub API. So I've used the combination of these two to create a message extension in Teams. So let's take a look at the message extension. So what we have here is uh, a chat in Teams. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do now is in this chat, uh, as you can see, Megan has asked me about the stock price of Microsoft. Uh, so if I click on this and then open the stock price message extension, which is the custom one, uh, what happens here is uh, we can go ahead and ask uh, a question saying, uh, how is Microsoft? You can do a typo if needed. Uh, uh, I will not do so. It's <laughs> Microsoft uh, doing, um, and then uh, what this does is uh, uh, this sends a request to OpenAI uh, along with uh, with the details that it it gets from FinHub uh, API, uh, and then OpenAI looks at that information uh, and then uh, you know gives us a, a nice message uh, over here, saying just a funny funny message, uh, and then it also has all these stock details uh, which are provided by FinHub, and then we can go ahead and send that uh, to Megan, who I guess uh, will like it, as you can see from the chat history. Uh, so that's what uh, this particular uh, message extension does. Now, I know that there is a, a stocks uh, message extension provided by Microsoft, uh, but this one over here is just for demonstration purposes uh, because I just uh, wanted to show how we can use OpenAI um, uh, or how OpenAI comes into this picture, uh, into the picture in order to show this functionality. Right, uh, now if I go back to the presentation, uh, so the scope uh, of this particular uh, message extension is applicable to both OpenAI and Azure OpenAI. Uh, and the models with which it can be used is uh, are GP, GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4. Um, yeah, so uh, in this particular sample, we are using OpenAI, but uh, it can be changed to Azure OpenAI very easily. Um, now, before looking into the code, uh, let's understand what function calling is. Uh, and then uh, once we've got that understanding, we can, we can come to know how we are using that in the code. So function calling, we can think of that as, uh, you know, extending OpenAI models uh, to give more mock functionality. Uh, so the way it works is whenever we ask a question, uh, yeah, it understands the intent of the user and based on that, it tells us which function to call. So to give you an example, uh, if we ask OpenAI to get the current weather, uh, OpenAI error comes back with the response saying that it doesn't have access to the current weather because it's been trained until September 2021. Um, however, if we tell OpenAI that our code has got some functions which can give the uh, information about the current weather, then OpenAI tells us, okay, you can call that function in your code with certain parameters. And we go ahead and call that function uh, and then send the response back to OpenAI. Uh, so for example, if you ask OpenAI uh, to get the current weather in a particular city, OpenAI tells us uh, you, are, uh, you need to call the get current weather function in your code. Um, and then we call that uh, we call that function, and then send the data back to OpenAI. 
Right. Uh, so let's have a look at this function calling in a bit more detail. Uh, so imagine uh, this particular message extension that I showed you did not have a function calling feature. And then if we go ahead and ask stock price of Microsoft, uh, then uh, what uh, what OpenAI does is, is it says it doesn't have access to stock data. So now let's say we introduce function calling feature into the message extension. So what we do is, uh, we take that question, stock price of Microsoft, and send that to OpenAI. Along with that, we also send a couple of functions that we have in our code. So we we, we tell OpenAI that we've got a function called as get code uh, in, in, in our code, and also a function called display code. Um, so we, uh, we pass these two functions, so basically the name of the function and the de a nice description of what those functions do, along with this particular question to OpenAI. OpenAI uh, gets this information and then it tries to understand the intent of the user. Uh, so in this case, we are asking for the stock price of Microsoft. So OpenAI understand that, understands that and tells us we need to call the function called as get quote, and then the argument uh, symbol, the value of that must be MSFT. So OpenAI computes all this itself based on the question we have asked and tells us to call this function. And then what we do is in our code, we go ahead and call, go ahead and call this function get quote. Uh, and then that get quote function might call some external API, in this case, FinHub, and then gets the data, uh, uh, which, which can be raw, uh, raw JSON or anything else. Uh, so that data will include like the stock price details, like what's the current price, uh, what was the high, low, uh, etc., and then uh, that particular JSON is sent back to OpenAI. OpenAI gets this JSON, interprets that, and then uh, gives a nice message um, based on uh, whatever the uh, you know the, the values are. We then take that message and then convert that into a nice adaptive card with the stock values that we had got earlier, and then show that to the user. So that's how function calling works. Now, uh, let's take a look at this solution. So this particular message extension uh, is a Teams bot. So if we look at this particular slide from right to left, so we've got the Teams client where the message extension resides, and then that communicates with an Azure bot. The Azure bot, bot then passes the request to uh, an Azure function. The Azure function then passes the request to OpenAI, and then the computer response is ultimately passed back to the Teams client. Now, I'm using an Azure function here as the backend in order to uh, uh, run the bot, but the, we can use any other uh, backend as well if needed. Right, now let's take a look at the code. So all this code is available on the uh, GitHub Teams samples uh, repository. Um, so what we, uh, if you look at the README and then follow the instructions, then uh, you, you'll know how to set up the bot. And once the bot is set up, uh, what we have to do is in the uh, local settings.json file, uh, we, we need to go ahead and change some of the values. So basically we need to add an OpenAI API key and then add a model and then also add the FinHub API key, which ultimately goes and gets the stock price. Once all the settings are done, um, uh, you know the, the app will start running. So in, in this particular app, we've got a messages endpoint, which is an Azure function. And that particular uh, Azure function runs using this index.ts file. So here we do the initial setup of the bot. This is all common uh, code, which if, if, you're, if you've created Teams bots before, uh, and then in the bot file, uh, which is an extension of the Teams activity handler, uh, what we do is we need to uh, start communicating with OpenAI. So firstly, um, we need to create this array called as OpenAI messages because these are the messages which we will send to OpenAI. Firstly, we go ahead and get a system message. Now, that particular uh, system message is, uh, you know, it has got a role of system, and then we describe how OpenAI should behave. So this was similar to the prompts uh, that you saw earlier in Kevin's demo and in April's demo as well. So you can uh, just tell what, uh, how you want the system to behave. So in this case, I've just said it has to be a funny talk broker so that it can respond with some funny messages. And once we have the system message, we go into submitting uh, the message. Uh, 
So what we do here is we go ahead and get the, the query of the user uh, and then push that to the OpenAI messages. So in this case, the query was, what's the stock price of Microsoft? So we we'll put that in the messages array and then we go ahead and call OpenAI with these messages. So there's a method called as call OpenAI and that's what we are going to hit now. Uh, that will be present, that is present in, uh, in the helper file, openai.ts. Uh, so this one uses OpenAI library in order to call OpenAI. So uh, it's quite straightforward. Uh, there's a method called as create chat completion, uh, which ex uh, which expects some parameters like model, uh, the messages and tokens, etc. So we go ahead and call that method. And then in that particular method, like I said, it expects messages and functions. Uh, so messages are the ones that we saw earlier and functions uh, are the ones that we need to pass. So in this case, get quote or display quote and things like that. So if I just show you what gets passed to OpenAI. Uh, so we've got the system message that we saw earlier. We've got the user message, which is uh, asking about the stock price of Microsoft. And then we send these functions, which we'll have a look at in a minute. So uh, we send the name of the function and a nice description so that OpenAI can understand uh, based on the user's question, which function it needs to call. So all these details are sent to OpenAI. So if we take a look at that get code function, uh, so we can see that it has got a, a name, uh, a nice description, and then it has got some parameters. So in this case, uh, we are asking OpenAI to tell us what symbol we need to use, what's the name of the company, and what's the primary exchange. Now OpenAI uses its, uses its intelligence to give us the symbol, the company name, and the primary exchange based on the question that was asked. So in this case, uh, for Microsoft, the symbol is MSFT, company name is Microsoft, and primary exchange is NASDAQ, I think. Uh, so that, that's the function. So we can define several functions like this based on our requirement and pass that to OpenAI. Now, uh, the response that comes back from OpenAI is a JSON. So we go ahead and process that response. So OpenAI tells us uh, we need to uh, call a function and the name of the function is get quote. And you can see that it has passed in the symbol, the name of the company and primary exchange. So in this case, MSFT, Microsoft and NASDAQ. So what we do is we go ahead and uh, extract that JSON and get the name of the function and we go ahead and call that function. So in this case, the function is uh, called as get quote. And then here we use FinHub API and then pass the name of the symbol along with the API key. This then uh, goes ahead and returns the data, which is raw JSON. We pass that JSON to OpenAI uh, and then OpenAI uh, response uh, saying we need to uh, stop the execution and it tells us uh, a nice message based on the system prompt. And then what we do is we go ahead and take that message uh, and then put that in an adaptive card uh, and then show, show that adaptive card to the end user. So in summary, function calling is available in OpenAI and Azure OpenAI. Uh, it helps us provide structured output. This sample uses OpenAI, but there'll be a PR coming soon uh, to use Azure OpenAI instead. And here are some of the resources that were used for this uh, demo. And with that, I hand it back to David.